task 3.5 sales the first transaction that we're going to record under sales is sales invoice you may choose either you want to go to sales invoice or you may go to the invoice shortcut icon now let's go to sales invoice then click the new button the first invoice is to customer one the date will be 15 of next following month which is november click the plus sign to add a column now you can see before we select any item the text code still maintain using the default text code that we set in text code maintainer now if you still remember the we, uh, the previous task we already set each stock item with special code now the first item will be item number one please <coughs> focus on the text code changes once i select item number one automatic the text code change to s10 because the item number one we already specific special text code which is S10 for sales tax 10% and if I select item number 2 please focus on the changes of the text code it will change also to text uh, S10 the item number 3 will change to S5 item number 4 will change to S0 and the last item will change back to SV6 so the changes of each tax code will refer to the stock item now click on the item number one enter the quantity which is two unit the total is 400 and the ssd is 40 ringgit the total will be 440 ringgit now you may click on enter to add the new column or you may click the plus sign to add another column now since the first transaction have four item i bring out all the four column and choose the stock item first the second item will be item number two the third item will be item number three and the last item will be item number four Once done, select the item, enter the quantity, which is 2 unit for item number 2, 2 unit for item number 3, and 1 unit for item number 4. Please focus on the tax rate. The tax rate for the first item is S10, 10%. The second one is S10 also. The third one is S5, and the last one is zero rated and the total amount is 1480 ringgit together with the tax rate is 80 ringgit so once you have done check for proceed new invoice and click on save now you may see the first transaction of invoice already been saved at the back now let's proceed with the second invoice to our customer tree the date is 16 of next following month now click the plus sign to add the column this transaction involved with four items so click the plus sign and bring out all the four columns together The first item will be item number one. The second item will be item number two. The, the third item is item number three. And the last item will be service item. Now enter the quantity of each item. The first item is 2 unit, the second item also 2 unit, the third item is 2 unit and the last item number 5 is service item is 1 unit. Focus on the tax code. All the tax code is zero rated because 
this special tax code will refer to the tax code that we already set on our customer tree. Now, if you still remember, even though we already assigned special tax code to our stock item, each stock item have their own special code, but when come to the special setting that we set to our customer, automatic it will go back to the setting that we set to our customer or our supplier first. You have to remember, in the setting of priority on tax code, the first priority will always come to customer or supplier. So whatever setting that we set, for example, if you go to AR Debtor Maintenance for customer tree, we already set special under others is SV0. So the first priority will always go to either customer or supplier. Then follow with the second priority on tax code which is stock item. And the last priority then it will go back and follow the default that we set in tax code maintenance. So you must remember whatever special code that you set on a customer it will follow the code on customer but if the customer we don't set any of a tax code it will follow the default either on the stock item or tax code maintenance now come back to the transaction let's check back the total of this invoice is 950 ringgit so there's no tax code and tax rate so once you're done please uncheck proceed new invoice and click on save now done on our invoice let's go to the credit note so since credit note only have one transaction I go to the credit note shortcut icon the adapter will be from customer one same like we did in the previous task of purchase whatever credit note or return must transfer from invoice so you may choose either you want to do full document transfer if the customer return by all the item or you may choose to do partial item transfer so the customer one return back the item of number one and also item number three each item return for one unit for item number one and one unit for item number three so once you already done select click on ok now whatever you have been transferred cannot be a man so what you have to do you have to change the date the date is 17 of next following month the partial item will be from invoice number four it will be automatic written in your under our invoice number and you may enter the reason here wrong item so before you save please check back on the item the first item 220 ringgit and then second item is 105 ringgit so once you're done click on save you may check again the double entry that involved under this sales credit note under AR AR credit note entry whatever you record in the sales invoice and sales credit note will be automatic posting under AR so you may check back under AR credit note the, cre uh, the transaction of sales credit note just now so you may you may see the item just now already been not off okay the credit note just now already been not off since we transfer the document from invoice number four if you don't transfer from invoice just now and you do as a separate transaction automatic your not off column will not be checked and you will have unapplied amount the result will be shown when you process the SST processor later under unapplied amount so it's very crucial for you to make sure that every time when you record the credit note 
either under sales or purchase, you must transfer from invoice or else you will you can come back under AR credit note or AP credit note to check back either the unapplied amount already zero or not means either you already know of the transaction or not so this one you may close and let's do the last transaction of sales cash sale you may choose either you want to go to sale cash sales or you want to go to the cash sale shortcut icon now let's create the transaction of cash sale we have two cash sale the first is from that customer to the date is 18 of next following month which is November now please click the plus sign to add the column item code is item number one and the quantity is one unit but the unit price we have increased to 212 ringgit to our customer too now this cash sale is inclusive so you have to check inclusive button and you will see the total include with tax which is tax 19 ringgit 27 cent is 212 ringgit so once you're done please check for proceed new cash sales because we have another cash sale we need to record then click on the cash button as customer to pay by cash so you have option either you want to manually type the under cash column 212 ringgit or you click on f5 to do the full payment an automatic system will help you to save the first transaction now let's proceed with the second transaction of cash sale from the same customer which is customer 2 the date also the same date which is 18 of current correction 18 of next following month click the plus sign to add a column the item code will be item number 5 which is service item and the quantity is one unit we also has increased the price for our service which is 53 ringgit to our customer too and this cash sale also inclusive so you have to check for inclusive button and the total is 53 ringgit please uncheck proceed new cash sale and click on the cash button as customer pay by cash you may choose either you want to enter 53 ringgit under cash column or you may click on F5 to do full payment. Automatic system will help you to save. Now, you may go back to sales, cash sale to make sure that you already record two transaction of cash sale. Now, close cash sale and that's all for task 12.5.